what's up YouTube, Stobo here again with my second review for the day, uh, or my first review for the day, second video. These are the six Auto Morphin Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Series 1 Power Rangers. Um, they are not complete. I'm missing the weapons for Billy, Zack, Trini, and Tommy. I'm missing the blasters for all six of them. And no, Jason does not come with the shield and the toy. I bought that separately for like $10. You can find this whole set complete roughly for like 60 bucks somewhere. It's the, These guys are pretty expensive. And the, um, the second series, Wave 2, is even more expensive. For instance, Adam outside the package... With his battle axe, not even with blaster, is just eighty dollars. So, without further ado, let's get on to the review. Okay, so here we have Tommy, the leader. Originally supposed to be in for only six episodes, but due to fan favoritism, they brought him back, and he became the White Ranger, Red Zia Ranger. Red Turbo Ranger. And the um, Black Dino Thunder Ranger. He's appeared in more episodes than anyone else. And over 230, I'd say. I think that's what he said in one of his interviews. Around 236, something like that. Um, he does have wear and tear because he is from the 90s. And he has been played with a lot. The articulation for each figure is the exact same. So I'll be going over it once. They do have elbow movement here. They have shoulder movement. They can move their arms up and down. Not, or yet, back and forth. Up and down on both sides. And they can do up, down, back, forth, there. Um, the legs. Well, that wasn't as planned, but needed to come off anyway. The legs move back or up. Not back. They don't move back, but they move back at the knees. So that's 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 it. That's all the leg movement you get. And these guys are loose. So, but to transform him from the human head to the human head to from the ranger head, you have to open, pull down this. Both flaps open on the back like so. Rotate his head, and here we have a Tommy Oliver with just his head. So, now, to morph him, we just do the same thing. Put on the morpher, and it'll flip over, and, yeah, so, it's morphing time. Dragon Zord, or back to action, whatever you prefer. Um, the shield is loose as well. It's two parts. It connects with um, um, these two little nubby things here and here, and they connect into these holes there and there. So, just put it around his neck, and boom. Tommy is complete. Like I said, I will not be going over the articulation for all six rangers. I will just be reviewing the ranger as is from now on. So, um, same thing with this Dragon Zord. It's the exact same. Just the reason I have it on the Red Rangers is because I also want to get one for the Black Ranger because Zack and Adam will ha are the only two to have a Dragon Shield besides Tommy. And so when I finally do get Phase 2, I'll have my regular Rangers with my Powered Up Rangers. Um, he does come with a Blaster as well, which Tommy does too, but he doesn't have one in the show, so I don't know why he comes with a Blaster. Um, but he comes with the Sword. It's a very cheap version of his power sword but detailed it is bent and chewed on a little from the owner i previously got it on as you can tell it has a small hole there and has a small hole or peg in his hand there and you just push it in sideways and what it does is it connects right into that hole so we're going to flip jason around and Back to action. There you go. Um, quick sidebar on Tommy. I do want you to know. I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not. Um, 
the Green Ranger coins that I reviewed in the Wet Ranger Movie Morpher are not real in Power Rangers canon. Well, they are due to the Tommy, but in Japanese, they are only uh, they're not they don't exist. They were created in America. So uh, the White Ranger is actually from Dire Ranger the next season when we get should get the Thunder Zords. So this is Kimberly. As you can see, this one's a little, this part was a little loose on her here. But she is overall my best kept figure for some reason. Um, like she's just in the best condition. Her bow is the exact same thing. Very cheap, but has a hole in the center for her clip into her hand. But as you notice, has these four pegs. That's because the weapons for Zach, Trini, and Billy will go in here. To form the weapon just like it does in the show. But uh, unfortunately I do not carry said weapons yet. Um, but yes, each ranger comes with a, their coin on their chest. And she has a bow tie thingy on her hair. So they kind of got a little detailed with these just for, you know, like a little kid's toy, so... But here's what she here's how you morph her. So it's back to action. And there you have Kimberly. Um here we have Billy. Uh in real life they were really, really good friends, Kimberly and Billy, the actors, of course. Um, as you can see from me. Packaging him up, I have damaged his chest a little bit, but that's fine. He, again, is still just like the rest, loose in the knee joints here. Which is unfortunate. I did have to replace my Red Ranger and my Black Ranger because they were just in very bad condition. Which I'll have to do with my Trini as well. So, we're going to show Billy's human head without the... Um, helmet on and they gave him his glasses because you know he's like Velma he can't see without his glasses um just gave him a basic boy's haircut I think the same one they gave Jason almost um the plastic around here is in, uh inside of it is indented a little bit and the mouth on all figures is very detailed but uh, other than that, it's basically the exact same as the other figure. So, here's Billy. Back to action. And there you have Billy. And here's what you'll see what I mean by I may need a new Trini. Look how yellow her boots are compared to Kimberly. Look at the difference. Yeah. But... With all her yellowing and the gloves and everything, she is my best well-jointed figure. So, there is that. As you can see, yes, I got more damage on her due to the packaging. That was from doing from bounce to house to house. And it's just, I could have done better, but I just, I didn't. Uh, looks like they kind of gave her the same haircut as Kimberly, but black without the pink hair t hairband thing. Um, other than that... She's supposed to look like an Asian, but she kind of just looks like a average American. So, but that was Trini, and you can tell the difference in you know, why I need a new one bad. So, I'll be on the lookout when I get one. I'll just let you guys know. So, back to action. And that has been Trini. Now, my favorite, well, not my favorite favorite, but the Black Ranger, Mastodon. Mine is favorite is when Adam comes in and takes over for Zack. And as you know, Cat comes in and takes over for our, um, Kimberly after working for Rita, just like Tommy. Uh, she was mind controlled, and Rocky comes in for Billy, or not Billy, Jason. Um, see, so yeah, after replacing him, I got a very good figure. He's, his joints are very well tightened. So I'd say overall, this one over Kimberly is my best one, I'd say, since, I, like I said, I had to buy the new one, so. I knew what I was looking for. Um, yes, very white there and there. Very good, sturdy joints. You know, not loose in the knees. 
His chest is also very well kept. He has some minor paint chipping, but that's not too, too important because I'm not selling it. But this is what Zach looks like. Gave him a, like a flat top almost. Um, so yeah, back to action. And that was Zach. This has been all six 1993 original automorphin figures with weapons and a little extra accessory. So, that has been my review on the six automorphin figures from 1993. Um, I will, like I said, be getting back on track with my Power Ranger reviews in this one. Again, skipping Dino Thunder when that time comes. Um... I will be doing more short stories for the remainder of October. Let me know what you guys think of those in the comments, please. I need the feedback on those. Uh, so far, it's all been good, but I'd still like all the feedback I can get. So, like, subscribe, share, drop the comments. Um, I got more stuff coming for you guys. Got more ideas. Always thinking. Always got footage planned for you guys. So... This has been Stobo's Life. Till next time. Deuces.